So let's start talking immediately. Let's do a little interview. You and me and Derek talk about Red Hood. So, All right. one of your favorite characters? Yes. You I say that, was he a, was he a top fiver for you? Top two. Top Whoa. two. Whoa. Okay, right. top two. I don't two. even want to know who's one and who's two. Not going to ask. No. <laughs> Not gonna but ask. I see you have a shirt. You're going good. Oh, yeah. Look at that. So, when you got the opportunity to work hard on uh, Red Hood, you were pretty excited about it. What kind of stuff were you thinking about? Like, did you get to watch some stuff to figure more out about oh, it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, under the Red Hood movie, uh, read the comic book, uh, Red Hood and the Outlaws. The Outlaws, yes. yes. Um, and then any other DC type of show. That yep. featured him or movie. Absolutely. I like a lot what you did with him, cause we, which we'll see him here in a second. Some of you have seen him in the trailer that we mm-hmm. showed, we debuted at Combo Breaker. Um, kind of like, you know, he does use guns, but in a very different way. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think you've described it as, uh, sort of, uh, gun, gun, gun fu. Gun fu, gun kata. Yep. Right. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so let's, let's kind of get straight to him, huh? Sure. You know what? I, this is what the people want. The people so let's, want it. Let's give it to him. All right. Cool. So. First thing you'll notice. He has a red helmet. Yes. All right. Um, so we're just going to, for the most part, go over his special moves uh, and, you know, how he is different than right. what you would normally expect. Real quick, Evan, uh, when you designed this character, what was sort of your, your idea? You wanted him to be sort of a... He controls air a lot. Yeah, he controls space. He's very mobile. Um, he can evade. He can get in there. Uh, and he also has tools for setups. Right. Which actually, Steve, when he comes in, wants to really discuss the setup potential right. of Red Hood. So. Everyone's going to love that one. Mm-hmm. All right, so, Red Hood. For the most part, projectile is this Gotham Star, which is this quick high attack, uh, obviously full screen projectile, which you can meter burn, and it'll actually do a mixture of mids and highs. Um, it's a good way to keep your opponents away, but you know, for the most part, you can jump over them, you know, you see right. it coming, right? He also has an upward one, so it's more of an anti air. Um, so it's kind of interesting, Evan, what we've done here. Like what you've done here is we have, he doesn't use like he has guns, but his main yes. kind of projectile is not that. No, right. It's these Gotham stars. Um, and what you can also do is you can connect the Gotham stars off of like uh, wall bounces or whatnot to do some beefy damage. Um, now you'll notice this is a level twenty Red Hood versus a level one Joker. All right. So, so, so yeah, you're like, oh my gosh, look at the damage. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> That's not necessarily it. Um, but you can definitely keep the opponent in the air. Uh, with the upward stars, which will give you time to advance in on your opponent. Yes. Too. Um, he wouldn't be Red Hood without using guns. So, he's got this air gun move that he can use, uh, which keeps you up in the air, and it's an overhead and mid. So it's really, really good. Right, you kind of look at that as a, uh, sort of almost like an anti-zoning tool, too. Like yes. You can yeah. jump. Yeah. yeah. Um, and also, if like you have an opponent that's kind of sitting there and zoning at you, you can just jump in the air with Red Hood, do this quick attack, and then the projectile will pass and you'll be able to advance. Right. Um, he has these really cool diving moves, which he'll dive away and dive towards the opponent. Mm-hmm. Now, if you meter burn to dive away, it'll do six additional shots. So it's kind of like if you want to try and play that distance game with Red Hood, you can um, by getting away and then going back into the stars. Right. Um, now, some uh, people in the chat still keep saying that damage, that damage. Again, and once again, level twenty Red Hood versus level one Joker, which I think makes it canon as well. But right. we're not in the lower minute. Yet. No, we're not in the lower minute. We got to hold off on that. Um, now, I will say, uh, people are asking on chat. Also, we did say on Twitter that after this run through, when Steve comes in, we will actually be giving you the release date of Red Hood. Oh, it's an, oh, never mind. I almost, I almost said it right there. I almost did it. I'm the worst. Whew. About. I would say about three or four more minutes. Okay. So get okay. your get okay. your get your egg timers started. Egg timers? No one has egg. My mom used to use an egg timer. So I have one at my desk. Back to Red Hood. All right, back to Red Hood. <laughs> so he also has this advancing one. So if you do want to try and get in on your opponent, you want to use uh, his advancing dive or lethal lunge. Now what's unique about the lethal lunge is it has two different meter burns. So you can do a meter burn in the beginning if you're at a distance from your opponent, right? So you see how he does these quick two shots stumbling the opponent, but still closing in that space. Now if I do the lethal lunge and I hit the opponent in meter burn, he'll do a series of different attacks. Right. So it's very rare that we have a, a special move that has two different meter burn properties based on the distance from your opponent. Right. Very interesting. What? Um, and then I think we'll t- I think Steve will talk about it too, but I believe the his wake up is actually his back dive. Oh, so for a character, he his 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 wake up is the way he's getting away. Yeah, he's just getting right. away. Um, and then he also has an air grab as well, 
nice and blockable, so if your opponent's jumping around being all crazy like I usually do, right. you can just yank him on out of the air, and he may have an ability that augments that. Oh. We'll talk later we'll about talk that. We'll talk later about that. You uh, know what I think it's time for? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll come, you got one more thing to show? Oh, we okay. do, we do, we do. Um, we have like two more things. Two more things. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So one of the things we still have to show is this ground mine, right? Now it's just a normal ground mine. It sits on the ground. It's active for X ticks, and then it'll explode. You can do it at different distances. You can do a far. You can do a mid, and of course you can do a close one, depending on ah. oh, what kind of setups you want to do. What's great about the ground mine is when you meter burn it, it goes into free pop up city, right? Ooh, almost did too mm -hmm. much there. Not ready for it. Um, and it's a really great way to start all of his combos, and it gives you that free uh, pop-up for just one bar. Right. You get that away three instantly off of it. And he also has a parry. Look at that. And you can meter burn the parry to do a different... Uh, oh, you can. Up. I can. Oh. And then you can meter burn the parry to do additional damage, pushing him further, and then, of course, if you want to just do the stars, live in the star life with Gotham stars, right. you can. Um... And he has a low version. Look at that. And I love parries. And here's the thing I like about the parry, too. So let's say you just did a combo to me. Yes. Right? right. <laughs> let's say you tried to do a combo to me. Right. There we go. But what? What? I tried Give it your combo that you showed earlier. My fancy combo? Yeah, but you have... How many times, how many times Chad will it take him? How many times will it take him? I'm going... Three tries? Three tries. Okay, Evan. Three. Three. I'm going to say it's going to take you two. Two? What? Yep. All right. Here we go. No! That's a one. one. All right. Oh, That's a two. All right. No, there were three. <laughs> That's I messed a three. It up. The uh, screen nerves, they're real. But yeah, so I just I want people to see that sometimes it's not easy for everybody. Why don't you just do the easy one? Which one's the easy one? Just to, uh, one, two, two at the end. One, two, two? Yeah, I think so. Or, nah, maybe I'm wrong. Okay. One, right. one, two? There we go. That? Yeah, finish no, with that. that I don't want well, to you're never that. getting it, so. Don't say that. And I might get it. But also, when Steve comes in, we talk more about some mind setups that he has and some cool stuff. So Derek actually never got the combo. Um, well, we didn't give me 15 tries like we normally give you. I, Matt, do I do it more than, less than 15 tries every time? Usually. Has this taken longer than all the ones that I ever tried? No. Probably. What? <laughs> Why do you have... That's not fair. So what I'm trying to say is at the end of a combo, you can also just be a jerk and just spin your guns like you just showed off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well. So that's really cool. That's really all I was getting into. Oh. All right, we're going to stop now, now, Derek. Okay. Now it's just looking bad. Is it? Yeah, it's starting to look bad for the stream now. <laughs> ah! All right, okay. so... All right. So, because I'm horrible, thank you for pointing that out. Go ahead and write that down. Well, it's um, you always point it out on me, so I think it's only fair if it comes back to you. I just did it! Oh. Did everybody see it? No. no. Sure right. did. Sure okay, so moving right along. Uh, his character power. Should mm -hmm. we go over that? Let's go over that. Right? Uh, his character power is the stance called going ballistic. Now, there's a series of strings that you can do from the stance. Uh, and you can choose which ender you want to do with, after you do the string. So, you go into the stance, and you can choose to end the string with a low attack, or you can choose to end the string with an overhead. So this is more of that sort of gun foo we've been talking about earlier, yes. Evan, where, but he actually has electrified guns now. Yeah. Right. And so, and then he also has, where you can switch position. Which is a throw. Which is a throw. You can meter burn it. To keep your opponent standing. It also gives you have a ton of advantage after that as yes. well. So you can go right back into doing your fun Combat red hoop. Yep. And then my favorites, which is the series of additional attacks into the bullet storm or bullet barrage. Which is how the combo you were doing earlier was supposed They're to end. They're supposed to end. So Gosh. that's the ending, guys, of that one. Ugh, the worst. So that so let's let's go back to this to us real quick okay. and talk about something real quick. We're gonna show some uh, some new some gear moves. So we're gonna show some, some gear abilities. Characters, some ability character stuff. Yep. But what I want to tell you now is the release date of Red Hood. Right now? I'm gonna tell them right now. Before we do the rest? Yes. We didn't even show a super move. I know, but people are asking, and we're gonna do it right now. Yeah, they're asking. Oh, they yeah, were. Gun yeah, okay, yeah, okay, good, good, okay. Good. Okay. Tuesday, the thirteenth. Tuesday the thirteenth. When it comes out, if you have purchased the deluxe edition, the ultimate pack, the ultimate edition, or the fighter pack, mm -hmm. you'll get them 
on Tuesday. Yes. Earlier. Right. Now, if you just want Red Hood and you haven't purchased any of those things, you'll get them the following week. Correct. Which we'll announce that later. But if you bought any of the versions I just mentioned on the 13th of June, mm -hmm. it's June, right? Yep, yeah, June, 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 June. It's like next week. Time is going fast. It is. You will be able to play Red Hood on Tuesday. And there's also a Red Hood multiverse where if you had not purchased Red Hood and you want to see how he feels and play him out, you can do that just like we had done in previous games. And we'll so you get to check out Red Hood if you didn't buy him yet. So very soon, everybody. Uh, real quick announcement, too. Uh, he will be, just for tournament play, for CEO, we're doing a 30-day thing with all the characters. So, Absolutely. So he will not be available to play that CEO. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's 30 days from the character's launch is when you can play them in tournament. And so, CEO is also coming up in Which we're going to talk about here in a little bit. Okay, I actually. didn't know. You brought it up. I told you we were talking. Oh, Derek. I'm the worst. Oh, he's the worst. The worst. All right, let's take a look at some more red. Woo! All right, um, so that's base. Should we do his super move or wait we for should, the next We should, we should, we should. Okay. And also his throw. Everybody loves throws. <laughs> I actually like his back throw. His back throw? my favorite. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. Let's do it. Boom. Just flips up. Like, that's what I think you guys really nailed with this character, is that, like, he, he's very flashy, he's very fast, and he's very mobile. Um, just, he feels, he feels really cool. There it is. There it is. There it is. After 21 tries, there it is. because I didn't want to, I didn't, uh, yes. Woo-woo-woo! <laughs> <laughs> Matt Burke was, like, going... It he's like doing he, it. He, Look he, at him. He's doing it. It was like watching the, the 1980s uh, USA hockey game. Like everybody's like, "Is it happening? Is it happening?" And then it did. It did. I'm comparing you to us beating Russia in, in hockey. Okay. So, so on. abilities. Yes, there it. we go. Um, super move. Bam. There it is. Give it to the people. You know, there's something I really like about the character design that I, I don't know if I can explain it as well as I want to, but he there's there's a nonchalance to him. Mm -hmm. There's a very like kind of just throwing things out, like like just this sort of cocky sort of. He knows throw. it's gonna hit. Right. Like, he's just like oh. I like got a you. very like, and that's why I've, I've loved that's why I love working here and play work with these characters because all these characters have their own personality. Like you're talking about having you watch all the the, the the movies he's in and you watch all the read all the comic books, so you're able to take. Oh, things yeah. you see, like, well, there's some moves in there you're like, maybe you saw in one of the comics and... Yeah, when well, you were watching that or reading that, you get the mental note, like, ooh, that would make a good this, that right. would make a good that. Oh, we should reference that. I figured I was going to try and do my corner combo that I can't get over. Okay. Okay, you know what, let's get to Moving it. on. Alright, go moving on. Right, here we go, alright, moving right along. <laughs> so look at this amazing gear for Red Hood. Pretty cool. He's pretty awesome. Now, what we've added are two new abilities for him. Um, like we had said before, he has a parry. So what we've added is gutted, which is uh, a combo string or a combo attack that you can end at the end. You're two and one in ten. It's like a, a combo ender. Right. So this is gutted. Awesome. Six hits. Uh, you can add it to any combo that you want, right, to do additional damage. Restand them. And then you can meter burn it, which has been, like, people's favorite move so far. Bam! It's, that's classic. Now talk that's talk classic. talk about that move real quick, Evan, because like on the outset, if you were to think about that move, you're like, hmm, is that going to work? Is that weird? Did you yeah, have that issue? At first, I thought, ah, it's a little too gimmicky. It's a little too comical. But you know, seeing how the game is pretty serious, you kind of need some of that comedy. Well, and also I feel that like just like I was talking about a moment ago, like sort of the uh, the nonchalance and sort of the arrogance yeah. of him, that just matches his his personality to a T, and it just it just it just works with how he plays. That's really yeah, cool. Absolutely. And then, <coughs> like we were talking about before, with his lethal lunge, what we've added is a, a move that augments the, um, the second meter burn, where it actually pops up the opponent. Now, when doing that, that allows you to launch off of that. And then, bam, even more fun stuff you can do yeah. off of it. So he's got different abilities to pop up the opponent. His normal fight style doesn't have a lot of overheads or... Right. Um, ways to extend your combos, like with pop-ups and whatnot. Right. But a lot of his special moves, when augmented, do. Or yep. meter burned. Okay. So, that's basically the two moves that we've added on to, the, to this right. version. And we gave him what we, we actually, the next one, let's take a look at that real quick. Sorry, I'm just having fun. Yeah. Yeah. That might, that's one of my favorite back threes to hit, because it seems like it's super hard to do, but it always lands. And, like, oh, it and fits it's got really well. such good distance, yeah. too. It's really good. Alright, so, do 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 Okay, yes, 900 damage against, against a level, level one, one Joker. You know, 
people. So well, we can't show these moves if it's in creative mode, so correct. we have to do this, yeah. So here we are with this version of Red Hood. I absolutely love his helmet. I love the red bat symbol on his chest. He looks amazing. Um, what we've added into this loadout is actually a two-slot special move. Um, he has the normally has the ground mines, right? This move, which is more of a grenade toss, actually replaces the ground mines. But what's awesome about it is it gives you a free pop-up, so you don't need a meter burn like you were right. before. Uh, of course, it has the three different distances. You can do far, medium, close, or yeah, far, medium, close. Mm -hmm. um, and like I said, it gives you that free pop up if I can do anything off of it, right? Oh, I can't because I'm horrible. Here we go. I'm just gonna run away. It, from is, it has not been your day no, with the combos you know what? today. It's all right. Bam. There we go. Bam. Okay. So just another way of mixing it up with the mines. Right. And so, I mean, if that person's going to sit and try and block low mm. from this grenade, you actually can then just go into the air right. and go into overhead attacks. So you're kind of just locking them in place with these, and you're getting really good spacing. That's an awesome helmet, by the way. Thank you. Look Thank you very cool. much. Uh, and that, for the most part, is a few of his amazing moves that he has. We left a lot out, as we usually do, which you'll be right. able to find soon. Because we too. want people to discover stuff on their own. Right. I'm um, just going to sit and keep doing this. Awesome. Uh, so, Evan, thank you so much no, for joining you for us. Me. We are going to, uh, Evan doesn't have Twitter, so don't follow him on Twitter because <laughs> you won't ever find him. No. Um, we're going to bring Steven in a moment. We're going to first show the Reddit trailer again just to get Evan in and Steve out. But thank you so much, sir, for coming. We will see you again. Yeah, we will real soon. At some point, yeah. yeah right. right, I hope. Yeah. Let's roll that good, good trailer. That good trailer. <laughs> Dick trusted me, but you never will. Someone's desperate for approval. I've got more than enough father figures. And we are back. Hey, everybody. Resident hey. fighting expert Steve Brownback. Tyler's life coach. Steve My life Brownback. coach and game coach. Yeah. Um, so Steve's just going to want to, we want to talk, he want to add a few things about Red Hood. Yeah, I just wanted to talk about a few of his normals uh, and uh, his character power. Sure. So um, one of his best normal attacks is back, medium, hard. It's the slow attack. It's got great range and it's very, very fast. You can see it actually hits from the start of the round. And it's super, super quick. And he doesn't get a pop-up, but he can do like a special move, or he can put out his mind, and it'll be behind them, and he can go in. And if you want real damage, you have to commit. So you have to just do the mine, or just go in. So that's the trade-off. It's very, very fast, has a ton of range, but if you want real big, meaty damage, you have to do something unsafe, or just go ahead and use your bar meter. So you have to think about how you use it, but it's a great move to use. I feel like a lot of people, once they start really getting into Red Hood, they're going to start feeling, like, use his, his mind probably could use some exploration by a player. Yeah, yeah. Um, one of his other key normal attacks is his 4-2. It's 4-2-3-1. And the second hit is an overhead, and the last hit is a low. And this has great, great range. 
you can see it'll hit from even farther back. Now the downside to this move is it's a high. So if the opponent is ducking or doing like a low poke or a low profile move, it'll whiff. But if you can condition the opponent not to move, like maybe you have the mine out or something like that, you can go for it. So those are kind of like two of his best normal attacks to use. Another thing I like to point out is with the dive, that not only does he have like the different versions like up close, the far one is actually safe. So if the opponent blocks it, he's like slightly disadvantageous and they can't punish him. So it's a great way to get in. Like if you're kind of struggling in zoning and you're having a hard time, you can do it from full screen and he'll be right next to them. And he can kind of go in or do like a meter burn back three or jump over them. And they can't just automatically retaliate. So like Derek was saying, it's, it's a great tool to like close the distance. Right. Another thing with his, uh, uh, retreating move, as you mentioned, it's a wake-up attack. It's yeah. actually his only invincible wake-up attack. And it's and not... we're actually going to get more to our wake-up attack later. But yeah, yes. Continue. It's not fully invincible, but it does have some invincibility before he actually leaves the area. So the opponent's going to have to go out of their way to beat it. Like, they're going to have to stop their pressure and think of, like, long-range, far-reaching moves that'll beat it. So it's a pretty good wake-up attack. But the downside is he doesn't get any damage unless he meter burns it. So it's, like, it's evasive, and it's high mobility, but it's not great reward for him. Right. So I also wanted to talk about his mine. Um, one of the cool things about it, it is a main combo starter, but it's also like a setup tool. So, and it also hits low. The opponent has to be crouching. So there's simple setups, like a, a simple go-to setup would be you and your combo in this string, and then this is very, very hard to block, because he said the second hits an overhead, and this is a low. So you can go for this, and the opponent, you change your timing, the opponent has a very, very short amount of time to block it, and that'll right. knock them down and then you can throw out another mine and start looping it. So there's a lot of creative things you can do in the corner, or you can do like mid-screen. You can also kind of use it as a shield. You can place it in front of you, and then do some quick projectiles. So like maybe you think Bane's going to charge at you, you can have it down there, or you think maybe they're going to dash in, you can put it in mid-range. So it's not just the combo starter, it is that, and that's one of his best combo starters, but it's also kind of a thinking player's move. A thinking player's move. A thinking move. player's move, I like that. which is, that's totally like that. what I'm all into setups and and uh traps you know right, sure you are you've always been a setup player oh yeah so his character power i'd like to go in a little bit more about that too like the cool thing I did is that already. I yes did that but when you're blocking it you have to keep in mind that the different enders have different recovery like the low option is good but it's actually punishable so if red hood guesses wrong and you actually block low he's going to get punished for it the overhead is a little bit safer some characters are going to be able to punish it but when you block it you're left far away so, do you want me to do a free scene? No, I'm good. So you can see they're pushed back far, so unless they have a really good long range move, he's going to be safer. Sure. So, he has two options that are overhead low, and the reward's kind of decent, and they're somewhat punishable, or you can go for the throw. The throw is a true throw, like it'll actually hit you if you're stand blocking. The downside is it's a high, so the opponent can duck. duck. But then the thing is, if they're ducking, that opens up the overhead. Right. Sure. And like you pointed out, if you meter burn it, they're still standing, and he is at a ton of advantage. Mm -hmm. He gets a free mix-up. Yeah. You are not moving. You are either blocking or you're dying. Right. So he's using a bar meter, and it's a high, but if it connects, it's party time for Red Hood. Sure. And then the big ender, not only does it look awesome, it actually does a lot of chip damage. It's safe. So that's kind of the option where if you're going for his pressure and they're blocking, and you're like, I don't want to go overhead low or throw. I don't want to mix them up. I just want to play it safe. I chip. just want to get out, get the chip. The meter burn is your answer. You're going to get a decent amount of chip. You're going to be pushed back. You're totally safe. Cool. And then a final thing that's really cool is from the stance, he can exit it or he can actually shoot out of it. And this is really good. So like up close, you can kind of go into it and immediately just kind of get out. So maybe you go in. You don't want to play a guessing game at all. You just want to go back. You can do that. It's also just a great projectile. It's actually really fast, has good recovery. It does a decent amount of damage. So you can just throw the stars, do a couple of anti-air stars, and this is actually just good. It's just good. Yeah, it's great just a good review. And it looks awesome. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. It's a very cool cancel. And what I also like, uh, Matt and uh, Ken sent me some really cool combos with uh, Red Hood, which I couldn't do. Yes. Um, is that like even mid combo, you can go into the stance, cancel out of the stance, go back into the stance, and, and go into the yeah. Full. There's it's a lot so of creativity. Cool. Like his normal attacks are are not the most spectacular. They're pretty utilitarian. They kind of get the job. Like a lot of just punches and kicks, they get the job done. It's 
the character power is where he really shines. So I think he's going to appeal to players that they like their traditional zoning, kind of the standard, you know, throw a fireball, you make the opponent jump, you want to anti-air them. But then if you have the creative side, the mind and the character power are going to be really cool. And that's I think that's what's going to really make him a special character. That's awesome. Awesome.